Right guys, this is going to be a full on rant about video game companies and their current plans at the moment, which it, 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 it just drives me insane. Um, right, let's go through uh, a recent one, uh, Konami. What is going on? They're not even making any games anymore, they're making pachinko machines, which are these sort of, I don't know, porn machines or slot machines, I, I, I can't remember. But the, the direction, I don't know what it is, but my theory is the companies are being bought out and then these new people just don't have a clue what to do. I mean, I don't know where Konami hired this Pajinko idea man from, but apparently he's the one calling the shots, so who knows what's going on there. Uh, Capcom, gotten rid of Mega Man, I mean, I know this isn't news, because it's been going on for a very long, long time now, but Jesus Christ, he was one of the biggest things for Capcom. He was known as the mascot of Capcom. Uh, then obviously you got all of uh, Street Fighter attacking and all that, blah, 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 but... I just don't understand it. It's like all the old IPs they feel are not going to do well in the future. Uh, let's see now. Sega. Oh my god. What are they doing to Sonic? And uh, let's put Sonic aside for just a second. Let's just put him aside for one second and go on to other games. Let's see now. Sega have got a massive massive giant load of games which they used to publish shinobi streets of rage golden axe alex kid yes i know alex kid is dated now because uh sonic overtook alex kid but i'm sorry i think i would absolutely love them to make a hd version of an alex kid game or even a new one for alex kid maybe update some things like Instead of him having to put on items and having a certain amount when he and when he dies he loses them. He just uses them all the time, which I have said in one of my videos of Alex Kidd where you got the bracelet and it shoots out a beam, that should be implemented and I just I reckon that would be awesome. But that's just Alex Kidd. I mean you've got Streets of Rage. Oh my god, I can name millions of people who would love a Streets of Rage reboot game or an HD one. There is a remake one, Streets of Rage remake by Bomber Games or Boomer Games, I can't remember which one it is. And that is amazing. Uh, this is this, this is something though which I do not understand what Sega have done. Right, Capcom, uh, there was a Streets of Rage, no not Streets of Rage, sorry, Street Fighter versus Mega Man or Mega Man versus Street Fighter which was a fan game and Capcom took this into consideration and bought it and then put it on their their site or on Xbox Live or anything uh, e-store there we go and it sold and I don't understand why Sega decided to boot off Boomer Games by the way you can find the Streets of Rage remake online it's not gone. I've seen it so many times and I've played it. It's really good, but I can't upload it because Sega don't want people playing it or showing it to people because they want to keep the classics classic. They don't want a remake. That is the stupidest idea I have ever heard in my life. Take the game, buy it off Boomer Games for a small profit i'm sure you got a lot of money still and put it on steam or online in e-shops people will buy it oh my god would people buy it and like i said a 3d version of streets of rage would sell golden axe there was a 3d game I haven't played it, I've heard it didn't do too well, but there you go, learn from your mistakes and remake that. Shinobi, god damn, make another Shinobi game, that would sell. What other games are there which are on the Sega? There, there's just so many, but let's move on to another company, shall we? Konami, have just gotten rid of their head guy, I really can't remember his name. Uh, just give me a second, I'll try and find it. Duh, 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 duh. 
And while you wait, you can listen to this. Do, 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 do. Right, here we are. Hideo Kojima. Kojima, there we go. He has left Konami now because the Konami just don't care about anything but pachinko machines. And I'm so glad that he is going to be probably making the next Silent Hill or another Metal Gear Solid because... I know everyone's really liked Metal Gear Solid 5, but my my dad played a bit and gave me the controllers and I just didn't like it because, again, uh, a thing which is going on in companies at the moment, I hate this theme. I really do. I don't know any more people that do hate this, but because I'm a bit of a retro gamer, it, it kind of gets annoying to me, but to new age gamers, they love it. But first person shooters or anything involving the style of Gears of War or things like that. Because in Metal Gear Solid 5, the view is exactly like uh, Gears of War. Is exactly like it, and I just don't like it. I preferred when it was like the camera was stationary and you are just moving the character around that was a good idea but resident evil 6 metal gear solid 5 um the new final fantasy 7 it, it, it's which is final fantasy 7 remake which everyone knows about it's just that's the direction i want them to go either back to something a bit more basic which people like because I, I just don't understand this first person mode thing it's just that is what it is now it, they're bending to the whim they don't want to go for something new they want to stay in this system which is sad i mean resident evil 7 is probably going to be exactly the same which is really i just don't like it resident evil revolution i think it's revolution amazing oh my god i've started playing it again i just the camera angles the the fear factor it's brilliant i love that sort of thing and they've gone back to the old formula which is awesome that's just i just don't understand the new direction of companies yes i do know that you're trying to make your money but if you take old ideas and implement them a little bit different people will still buy it you don't have to do a u-turn and a piece to this one genre it's just i just don't understand it it just it, it drives me insane like i just don't know what to say about it sometimes when i play a game i expect it to be like the same as it is but different features added it's like final fantasy 7 remake which i've made videos about and you know what general direction i think of that so just take the old thing don't change much of it and put some new things in people will still buy it people will still think it's amazing another one which i've been playing recently which i've noticed is crash bandicoot he's disappeared and i'm not surprised because uh, uh what is it uh mind over mutant and not attack on tight no i've forgotten what the first one is but they were crap they were absolutely rubbish like the, the direction they changed too much and it just made fans just go you know in a different direction whereas even though people can't stand wrath of cortex which i do not understand why I mean, you've got some reviewers that are saying that the music's terrible or anything like that. But if you get the load times out, which I've taken out of my videos, it's a fine game to me. I've got no problem with it at all because it's basically the same mechanics except improved. That's what we need. We need something like that because a crash attack on Titan or whatever it is, I just couldn't get on with it. I completed it, but I would have preferred it as a different IP. Just it, it, it boggles my mind. Like, if there's new games, fine. Like new games with which are completely new and they got their own formula, fine. But old games just don't take loads out and then try and recreate it. Like Sonic 
Boom! Oh! The cartoon series, fine. The game, awful. Absolutely terrible. I, I, I just couldn't get enough of it. I was just, oh. I played it a bit and I just I stopped. Like I played a demo of it um, somewhere I can't remember. And it was just awful. I couldn't stand it. But this is what I'm trying to say. Companies need to stop taking games and making it completely new, like an old IP, and make it completely new. Just get the IP, change some bits, and it will be fine. Like, again, I, I'm going back to Sonic here. Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations, Sonic Unleashed, yes, apart from the Werehog, were amazing. And then they released Sonic Lost Worlds. Just, I, I didn't, I never actually played that game, and I'm sorry, but even watching people play it, no, I didn't like it. The story was okay, like where you thought Eggman died, uh, but he didn't, but you kind of knew he wouldn't die because he's Eggman. But it wouldn't surprise me if they tried to kill him off because seriously, they're destroying Sonic as much as possible. My hopes for Sonic in 2015? No, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be something terrible like the rest of the rubbish that companies are bringing out at the moment. They're not scared to do something completely new with a game, but they're scared to keep some most of the old formula and just improve upon it, which just drives me insane. You got Konami, which just stink of money on arcade-style machines and that. You got Sega, which just don't know what they're doing. They just think Sonic's all they got when they got all sorts of other things. Capcom just destroyed their main IP. Because, I don't know, the president of Capcom hates Mega Man and really wants him to be dead. Like, seriously, send him to Nintendo. Nintendo are doing much better. Like, Nintendo are the only company... I didn't really support them for a while because I was a Sega fanboy. But the more I look at it, Nintendo are going the right way about it. Like, you got PlayStation 4 and Xbox One which are not doing so well like Xbox One because uh, they really messed up but they're trying to improve upon it but what I think this new Nintendo NX is going to be is a really good version of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 I think they've done it right like the strategy uh, is really cunning to me so I say good uh, good work to them. Thumbs up. Just definite. Konami. Can Konami fuck themselves? And Capcom. I just don't really... I, I, I've played Mega Man. I like it. But even though I'm not a Mega Man fan, to see a mascot of a company just being stomped on like a pile of shit uh, flabbergasts me. I just... It amazes me. And Crash Bandicoot, I would like it to come back, but not in the form that it's in at the moment. It's just bloody terrible. Sonic, leave him alone for a while and go back to your old IPs. Like, obviously you don't know what you're doing with the Blue Hedgehog, so just leave him alone. Seriously, just go back to another one of your IPs, like Streets of Rage, Shinobi... Alex Kids, like I said, would love another Alex Kid game. Maybe some would agree, maybe some wouldn't. Maybe some have just realised that Alex Kid is still was a thing and gone, oh my god, I remember Alex Kid. He was really, really popular back then, but just the latest games just no. They're really not doing well at all for themselves. All gaming companies just seem to be doing this first person shooter rubbish I'm not a fan of really popular games like that like Call of Duty just drove me insane but I, I do play it now and again but oh it's just getting too much but you know what that's the direction that everyone's going about and I just thought you know I'd have a massive rant about it 
Anyway, guys, I'm glad I got that out of my system. Tell me what you think down below in the comment section and show us a like if you think this video is good. If you don't, dislike it and then loads of other people can see that it's a dislike video because I rant too much. Oh well, that's my say guys. My name is Ali Star. See you later.